This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. Okay, welcome everybody. This is a really exciting day for us, and hopefully uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for all of us to learn a little bit more about uh, aortic aneurysm disease and what we can do to work uh, together, uh, both locally and internationally, to try to learn more about this important problem. Um, I should also, uh, should also point out, Charlie, that uh, Dr. Tulane just informed me that the NHLBI is also co-sponsoring our meeting today, so we're quite uh, pleased with that information as well. So uh, thank you very much uh, for everyone uh, coming from all over the world. Quite honestly, we have people from Australia, Japan, Europe. And um, as I said, uh, hopefully we can all learn a little bit about um, the aortic aneurysm disease. At Stanford here, we have, uh, we have a, a score program in aortic aneurysm disease, and uh, uh, Drs. Uh, Zhao, McConnell, Taylor, and myself are some of the investigators in the SCORE program. And it was kind of our interactions through the SCORE program that were the inspiration for the meeting and the structure of the meeting, uh, bringing together components of engineering, biology, um, imaging, and, uh, and uh, clinical uh, aneurysm management. And so we thought we would just give you a very brief overview of the SCORE project as kind of the backdrop to the meeting and type of uh, translational interactions we'd like to encourage. So our SCORE in aneurysm disease was initiated in November 2006, a long-term objective of several of us who have been working here at Stanford. Charlie and I have been working on aneurysm research for well over a decade, uh, and uh, Phil and I have also been working on this for at least 10 years. Um, is to identify, validate, and apply effective uh, therapies for abdominal aortic aneurysm disease, hopefully medical therapies, uh, especially for earlier disease. The purpose of this particular research program is to test the ability of uh, lower extremity exercise to reduce aneurysm risk, limit aneurysm progression, and modify biologic markers of disease. This is the structure of our score. Um, there is an exercise trial. Patients with small uh, aneurysms less than 5 centimeters in diameter are randomized to either uh, supervised exercise training or best medical therapy. And over the course of up to three years of supervised training, they get a number of studies related to hitting exercise targets and whether uh, their activities modify um, uh, proteomic profiles and other biomarkers of disease. Uh, there's also a clinical skills development core uh, help to train young scientists as part of this program. And then during the, along the way, obviously, we have the proteomics project, and we also have a, um, a hemodynamics assessment uh, program uh, that Dr. Taylor directs that's based on uh, computational modeling of uh, blood flow within the aorta at rest and exercise. Uh, this is basically the status of the uh, what happens to patients as they enter the trial. Enrollment is a collaborative effort between the Kaiser Permanente uh, System of Northern California, the 14 affiliated Kaiser hospitals. Uh, Dr. Brad Hill is at the meeting uh, today as well, and Brad's one of our uh, project directors in the uh, SCORE program, as well as Stanford and the VA Palo Alto. Uh, we're basically trying to identify 1,400 patients with small aortic aneurysm disease. Uh, to date, we screened over 1,000 uh, small aneurysm patients for participation in the program and we're actually doing quite well with enrollment. Out of this larger group, there's a subset of patients who are then identified for potential participation in the exercise trial. Uh, to date, I think we've enrolled almost 100 patients in the exercise trial. They're randomized to either supervised exercise testing or usual therapy, and then they undergo some uh, MR studies with a computational uh, group and the engineering group that they use as a basis for their simulation work. There's also a, another aim that looks at patients who have known exercise capacity have participated in previous exercise trials to see if their uh, lifetime exer exercise history as well as exercise capacity uh, is related to aortic diameter, um, with the hypothesis being that patients who are more active are going to have smaller uh, aortic aneurysms. So this is our enrollment uh, to date. We're actually uh, very close to target enrollment. Uh, we're averaging about 20 uh, new participants a month overall. Uh, since this last January, we're doing about 26 new patients a month. We've been quite fortunate to have a, a very competent and effective enrollment program for this trial. This is for the patients with known exercise capacity. We're doing well with that as well. The exercise training cohort is not doing quite as well, uh, but that's really not lack of uh, uh, effort. Uh, as you might imagine, 
uh, we screen all of the uh, eligible patients that are in the trial for exercise. We're getting about 24% participation rate in the exercise trial. And the usual reasons for not randomizing include multiple other comorbidities, which is not surprising in this age cohort. Aneurysms too big, too small, iliac aneurysms too old, other issues. But I think we're doing a reasonably good job trying to work through uh, some of these limitations. Uh, even at a very early time period, we are showing some effective exercise training. And we're uh, hopeful that this is actually going to translate in some meaningful change in the uh, biology of the disease. In terms of the amount of exercise our participants are able to accomplish, um, our target for the project is more than 2,000 uh, kcals uh, per day. And uh, so far, 54% uh, uh, of the participants have been able to achieve that target. And that translates to about uh, 28.97 uh, met hours. Uh, this is the structure of the SCORE project. And um, we're fortunate that a lot of the uh, people who are involved in the trial to make it work are participating in the meeting today. Um, uh, for example, Dr. Norman is, was on our uh, external advisory board, as is Tim Baxter. They're both on here at the meeting today. Uh, Dr. Larry Leung is uh, my, our, my uh, co-program director. These are the director of our uh, co support cores. Andy Connolly directs our histology core. Mike McConnell uh, directs our bioimaging core. And John Cook directs our clinical skills development core. Uh, Phil and Charlie are both pro uh, project leaders within the score. And we obviously have a lot of help. Uh, and I do not want to uh, leave out the fact that not only does uh, Julie White organize this meeting almost entirely on her own, but she also manages almost all administrative aspects of the SCORE project. These are the uh, co-investigators involved with the trial. Uh, needless to say, it's a big project, needs a lot of help. And we've been very fortunate to have a lot of enthusiastic uh, um, uh, participation within the communities, both the School of Medicine and School of Engineering. This is a, a fairly, you know, Fairly uh, significant uh, subset of the SCORE investigator participants. This is Dr. Zhao, who's co-sponsoring the meeting uh, today with us, Dr. Leung, Dr. McConnell, and Dr. Taylor, unfortunately, couldn't make it to this, uh, to this picture. But uh, you know, what can I say? I, mean, I had a chance, didn't show up. <laughs>